plutôt quelqu'un qui When I sail, I'm very sensitive to the reactions of the boat, sensing the response of the boat, listening and feeling. All these things are what I appreciate most. It is this aspect of sailing that I will ensure I replicate on an Amoka 60. I discovered sailing on the island of Reunion, where I was born 26 years ago. I started sailing an optimist. It was a family thing. My father had a sailboat, and we often used a boat to sail to Mauritius Island, which was not too far away. Those crossings were very instructive, because the Indian Ocean is not a calm place to sail. It was pretty rough sailing. It is true that quite quickly the competitive side of sailing attracted me a lot. It's true that I always say it was about sailing, but it could very well have been about something else. And I think if it had been cycling, playing football or rugby or anything, I would have done it with the same passion and the same desire. It was sailing, so I continued in this process. I came to France in 2005 and sailed for six years with the French 49er Olympic team. They were very, very good years, which eventually led to another project with the discovery of offshore racing on the Figaro circuit during three years under the colors of the Vendée. The Figaro circuit was a good initiation and led quite naturally to the Amoka 60 project with Safran. There is a common point which is fairly straightforward. Safran is in the aeronautics and my grandfather was a fighter pilot. My girlfriend works in the aviation industry on composite materials and I like flying and have my private pilot's license. The connection was easy to make with Safran. I visited several plants. It was very interesting. The technical aspects of the boat is my second passion. So it's true that it's pretty awesome that we're complementary with the Safran group. The Amoka class has a lot to do with the Vendée Globe. This race is magic and gets a huge media coverage. Many skippers would like to do the Vendée Globe. The Amoka 60 boats are high-tech machines, ultra-powerful and very, very competitive. I think it's because of this technology and the pleasure of sailing on these boats that the skippers want to sail in this class. When you know that the goal of the Ocean Masters Championships is to internationalize the circuit, you really want to sail in this class. They're definitely taking the right direction. There will be more races in the championships and from a sporting and preparation point of view, it's great. It will allow us to spend more time on the water and to compete more often. From my point of view, it's really going in the right direction. I always said that if I did the Vendée Globe, it would be to compete. There might be a generation gap, but I do not necessarily enjoy watching the nice colors of the sky or the birds flying around the boat. What I really like in this race is the sports side of the event, the competition, sailing around the planet faster than the others. So yes, it's about the competition. However, when I hear Mark talk about his first Vendée Globe, he started in competition mode but ended up finding other things while sailing around the planet. When I hear things like, yes, I'm going to compete, but I will probably discover the adventurous side of it as well.